My knight over here, even though he's coming in, my elbow is stopping him. Watch each other on the eye. Do not look at the hand. You know, when I started, I mentioned to you that martial arts these days fall into three categories. They fall into combat sport, they fall into kind of, you know, um, tactical, military, reality based, and then there's the traditional arts. And it's not about which art is better and all that, or which side of where your art falls, but it's the idea of absorbing from all of them. Um, my teacher standing here, I'm about to introduce you, Sifu Ben Dur, comes from uh, the Liangsheng lineage. He was a, a student in high school with Bruce Lee at that time. Yeah, that's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, his experience, not only in Wing Chun, but other styles and meeting masters from all over China and, and even in the U.S., he has a very profound understanding of Wing Chun Kung Fu. And Wing Chun is the mother art of Jeet Kune Do. A lot of people do not understand it and they refute it, but that's not the history. You have to go back to see where it comes from, the principles of Jeet, the ideas of sensitivity and feeling, what you get from Chi Zhao, the structure, all those things are so important to develop. It's almost like if you don't understand it and really dive into the system, you can't understand where Bruce Lee was going or where he was headed with Jeet Kune Do. So, and even Guru Dan and Asano calls it the nucleus of Jeet Kune Do is Wing Chun Kung Fu. It is the mother art. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to you my Sifu, uh, my mentor, somebody that I look up to and who has helped guide me. And uh, one of the key things is that he is so open with his knowledge. So oftentimes, you know, sometimes some Sifus will come and say, oh, you only have to do it this way, or you have to do it that way. But he always gave me free reign to learn, develop and ask my questions and help guide me in the learning. And that's what a really great teacher does. Remember I tasked you guys in the beginning, I said, pay attention to every presenter and pay attention to how they teach. Pay attention to their grasp of their knowledge, but pay attention to their personality. That's very important. I've never seen somebody always happy, always happy to be there. And that's one of the most powerful lessons I've learned. Punching and kicking is one thing, but how to live life and be a, a master of life is, is, is my Sifu, Sifu Bender. So without further ado, Sifu, thank you. welcome and thank you for coming. Yeah, I, I'm happy to be here. But uh, like, like I said, you know, all style are good. All depend on how you train, okay? So, you know, like, uh, I never, you know, under, uh, uh, underestimate other style. But, uh, you know, the, like I said again, you only have so long in your lifetime. <laughs> Just do the best of you can do, okay? And try to pick the one you like the most. And then, so, you know, like, uh, the whole idea, you know, I've been teaching for Wing Chun over 50 years. I learned Wing Chun when I was 18 and uh, at the beginning, you know, I, I uh, went to a Yip Man school, you know, but uh, that time, you know, like, uh, like, like I told, you know, uh, Haranda, you know, like the school I went to in Hong Kong is uh, St. Francis Xavier College, which is uh, Bruce Lee go to the same school, you know, we are together, you know, so, you know, like at, during that time, the school, the, you know, is so close to Yip Man's studio. That's why, you know, like, mm. I choose there, you know, because most of my friends go there. So, you know, like, uh, I could be honest with you, you know, like, that time, you know, when I go there, I don't learn much, but just, you know, I heard about Wing Chun School, and my friends in Wing Chun, I like to join Wing Chun, that's it, you know. So, you know, like, uh, and uh, after, you know, like, uh, I, I actually, I learned from Yip Man very short time. So, you know, like, uh, and then I, I find out I have to come to USA. And then so happened, Bruce Lee told me at the same time, you know, I said, hey, I, I go there too. So, you know, we all, you know, about the same time come to USA. So, you know, like, uh, uh, I still remember that was 1959. Uh, 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 he, he left Hong Kong uh, March something. And I think end, end of March. I left Hong Kong beginning of April. But I arrived U.S. before he did because he took the boat, <laughs> the ship. <laughs> but, but anyway, you know, like, uh, and then when so happened in San Francisco, we are living on the same street, 
we find out, you know, wow, that's good, you know, it's so far away if we go to living in the same area, same street. So, you know, like, uh, he, I'm the first, you know, guy, you know, you know, in San Francisco, you know, we know each other and then, you know, in, in, in doing the Wing Chun and classmate, you know. So, you know, like, uh, that time, you know, like, uh, he and I, he and I hang around for a short time, then I have to move to Florida. And then uh, when I come back from Florida, he already moved to Seattle. From then on, we never met again. But uh, so like I said again, I, I learned Wing Chun during that time, you know, very short amount, you know, but I still like, you know, you know all the Wing Chun concept. Uh, until, you know, like, uh, so in San Francisco at that time, not, not too many people in Wing Chun. So, you know, I just, you know, practiced myself and with a couple of friends. You know, until 1968, I met uh, my Sifu, Ken, you know, and then he's from Leung Seung lineage. And then like, and I touch his hand, I find out I cannot match. So from then on, I, you know, I, my whole group, people learn from him. So, and then after that, and then, you know, that's why I switch, you know, from Yip Man to Leung Seung lineage. But Leung Seung is the number one student of Yip Man. I think you guys see the movie, you know, like, you, he was standing on newspaper and then test out, you know, Yip Man hand, that guy. That's Leung Seung. But, you know, it's not true though. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, you know, like, actually Leung Seung, before he learned Wing Chun, he was already, uh, uh, a master of Choi Lei Fat and Dragon Style. You know, he, you know, and then he's a big guy, he's about, about your size, big, you know. And then Yip Man is about my size. And then like, uh, when, uh, when he start learning Wing Chun that time, he questioned himself, I don't know that guy really can do anything on me. So uh, Yip Man could sense it. I said, okay, how about you and I just fool around a little bit. And every single, every single movement, Yip Man's punch right here. <laughs> not touching, not hitting him, just over there, about many times. And then he said, that's it. I, I dropped this, I want to learn from you. And from then on, it's learned, so, you know. And because of uh, so many people talking about learning from Yip Man, you know, this and that. Actually, Yip Man, you know, really, you know, not too many people really learn a lot from him because of, uh, you know, they just heard his name and learned very short time that they quit or, you know, different reasons. But, you know, uh, you know even though his son, you know, learned, you know, learned from uh, I mean his father, his son, you know, is kind of old, you know, did not really pick it up as much as, you know, the original three students, Leung Seung, Lok Yu, Choi Seung Lin, and then Wang Sun Leung, you know. And those guys are they're really good, you know. But, uh, you know, like, uh, and that's why, you know, our lineage is from Leung Seung. That, and that's why, you know, like, uh, we, you know, we've, but later on, I'm going to touch you guys' hand and then show you the correct way of the chi sao. And then when you, in the future, when you touch somebody's hand, at least you could tell the guy is legit or not, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you know, don't fool me. You know, I don't feel your hand is, is, that, is that good, you know? Especially a lot of people calling himself master. Master this and master that. Honestly, I'm not a master. I'm still learning. <laughs> so, you know, this is how it is, okay? But, uh, you know, like, feel free to ask me any question. I'm happy to be, you know, uh, to uh, answering your question. As long as I know, I would not lie. If I don't know, I, I, don't, I, I don't make it up, okay? So, you know, like, uh, a lot of uh, seafood do not like to be asked questions because they, they think that, oh, what's the matter with you? You don't trust me? Or are you, are you testing me? You know, that kind of thing. To me, I'm not afraid to be asked. And, you know, anything, you know, you can ask me. Uh, if I, I know, I tell you. But as far as uh, martial art and Wing Chun, I think I could answer you at least 90%. Okay? All right? Thank you. Thank you, Sifu. Thank you. Thank you. you know, in Wing Chun, you know, we want to be relaxed. We don't want to be tense. You know,
make sure the head is up. So all the movement, we use the left hand first because we want you to be left hand as good as your right hand. Very simple. So normally after this, and then we have like single sticking hand. Single sticking hand is to train your your position, your horse, and your sensitivity. When he coming in, I stop him. And then he's not gonna do anything until my hand comes up. Then he's built up this kind of sensitivity. And then after this, we go do this. Stop. Instead of bring it down too much, we want the, the circle a lot smaller. When I bring it up, I I want to protect myself to get my position to guard it. Instead of doing this, but when I do this, I get hit in here. 
When I over here, even though he's coming in, my elbow is stopping him. So this is how it is. And after the, you know, one hand, and then we could do this, you know, the right, you know, same thing. So like I said again, I want your left hand as good as your right hand. So that means you will not be, you know, I'm just favor on my right hand, you know, that way. Now, see, at this, now make sure, yeah, make sure the whole thing is square. Your eye is watching the other guy. Now, now he's doing the inside hand. But after that, and then I'm the one to do the inside hand. So we, we both rotate, you know. Now, now this is the correct way, okay? I'm showing you the, the, the incorrect way, okay? Now, you do it. Yeah. No, no, you, you do the correct. I do the correct way. He do the correct, I do the incorrect way. Okay. So I may, you know, later on I'll let you guys to feel it, okay? No. Then you come up. Then you do this. See, people want the, the hand like that. A lot of people want to, but this hand's over here. A lot of people, they want to bring it out and then they hit. This is, you know, this is incorrect. And then especially using the shoulder. We are not using the shoulder energy. You know, we should use the elbow energy and the knee energy. And then when I do this, this is incorrect way. See? We're using the shoulder, you know, you know, the, we are, you know, especially the bong sao, you know, like this. No, no. Th no this is incorrect. No, the correct way is like this. This is incorrect. You know, when the guy do this, then you just come around heavy. So anytime my hand pass his shoulder line, yeah, you don't want to hang on uh, on him. Why should you hang on, right? Because if you keep on hang on him like this, the thing will come in. So that means like this, you hit me before I coming in. So that's the idea. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, you guys want to. Um, yeah, let's show, let them. Yeah. Try. Okay. Yeah. See the correct way of doing the chi sao. Okay. We both standing in here. Okay, number one, we have a horse in here. Your eye, you know, watch each other on the eye. Do not look at the hand, okay? You know, see like this. We want to be this point and this point. This point is like a rectangular size. You know, it's, you know I don't want to be like this or like this. So, this hand is Tan Sao and this hand is Fuk Sao like this. Now this is the correct way, okay? And then over here is one fist apart. Same as in here. My eye watching each other. And then this hand is inside hand. This is outside hand. And this hand is outside hand. And this hand is inside hand. So what we are doing is like rolling. Yeah, see like this? Every time once we roll, we want to check if my position is right. So, yeah, this is right. And then, and then the horse like this, yeah. See, like this. Now, we try to maintain, you know, the energy evenly. 50-50 at all time. And then, once you, you know, you, this looks easy, but when you're doing it, it's very tiring. And then you do this. And after you get tired, you know, or you get, you want to switch. We want to switch from the bottom hand first. Because normally, the, the, the inside hand is, is being tired. Because, you know, over here, you, you put some weight on me. That's why I feel tired. This hand, I do not feel tired. So normally, when I feel tired that time, and then I don't want to be, okay, let's do this. That way, when I do like this, 
the guy is gonna hit you because I am away from you know from your hand. In Wing Chun, you know the principle is that once your, I feel the hand is not there, I go forward. See it like this. I got hit already. But, you know, if you, you know, for real, I mean, you have to hit harder. <laughs> Thank you, not hitting me hard. <laughs> See, like, because uh, this movement could be fatal, would be very powerful. But, you know, when, that's why, you know, we, when we do a lot of this thing, we build up this kind of energy. So, you know, like this, you go, you know. So, okay. See, like this. When I am doing this, normally I get tired on this hand first. So, if I want to switch, We'll be like this from here and watch my elbow and my 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 position. I'm when I'm doing this, my hand is main, maintaining touching your arm. I will not be like this. See like this? Come here. Uh, now I cover myself. So at this point you are on the on the bottom hand. You you get tired too. Okay, suppose you continue to do it. Now in Chi Sao, we have four things of doing this. You know, left, right, left, right, and then bottom and right. So right now I'm doing on the upper side. You on the the, the lower part. Yes. Now we continue. Now you get tired, right? Suppose. Now suppose you get tired. Normally it's this hand first, right? Because you change this hand. So you you change. Come come around and cover. Now we go back to original with different side. Now, okay, this is the correct way of the, do, doing the 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 chi sao. And then I I want you to feel the energy, you know, on uh, on 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 what the, the, the we call pun sao chi sao, you know. Now, now because the energy is you feel my energy is coming forward. This thing would be, uh, nah, okay, this hand, try to be like this, not too high, you know, because if it's too high, now, nah, nah, if this part, like this, you know. Now, this thing is testing your knee energy and your elbow energy. Try doing it for an hour. Yeah, my hand's coming in. That's why you cannot, you cannot. <laughs> oh, elbows. <laughs> See like this, you feel really tired, right? Yeah. So, but a lot of people say that, you know, oh, your hand is too heavy, mm -hmm. then because of this thing, Wing Chun is supposed to be light. I I agree, light. But my energy like this is heavy. Is into you. It's not this. This is not. This is this is heavy. Now this is you know people doing this. Now you that is that's incorrect. Or people doing this. Or doing this. <laughs> doing like this, I mean, you know, they are not doing the job, you know. They are, you know, I mean, see, like a lot of people doing this, and then starting to doing like this. You know, this kind of movement is like, they, they, you know, you, you just do the rhythm. You know, you are not benefit yourself. See, this way you benefit yourself. You're learning. See my hand. <laughs> see my hand coming in. You push forward. Now from here. We could do a lot of, nah, at this point, when, when I let go, your body like this, because you're using too much upper energy. You're not, you know, balancing on the leg, okay? Nah, another incorrect way of doing it. This, then you just come around. You know, anytime when the guy's hand pass your shoulder line, yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to keep on hanging. Because when you keep on hanging, the guy coming in. Now position, one piece apart. Yep. There a lot of time is. They use a lot of energy coming in, and then 
this hand is they're gonna hit you. Or they use a lot of energy here and they want this hand to hit you, right? So that means you have to be understand, you know, what is the purpose the guy want to do. But when you do a lot, when you do the cheese out a lot, regardless what you do, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, like the best part about this, you know, my position and my sensitivity and my reaction. That's no time for you to think. Like this? Good. See, when my hand let go, you come in. Like this. Now at this point, you, oh, my hand coming in. Right? At this point, you should get, you, you have to prepare my hand coming in. Then you have to move this hand away. When you move this hand away at that moment, this hand you have to bring it back to cover yourself. Right? Because if you don't bring it back, my hand coming in. Mm. Now, now, you're stopping me. At this point, when, once I feel a bit, you, 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 you stop me. Then I move you. <laughs> uh, when I move you, then you come around again. So, you know, the, everything is no time for you to think. Yes, and that's why I like Wing Chun. <laughs> <laughs> <Me too. laughs> it's just like, you know, just like a, a good chess making here. Yeah? Playing, you know. Now, you could move the person over here. At this point, every angle, I want to offset your body. See, at this point, now, you feel my hand is pushing forward. Mm. So what you need to do, when you feel over here, you turn your horse a little bit here, and that, no, the other way. Then, so this way, you're stopping me, right? Because my intent is to make you all balance. Right. See, like this, you come back, you give it to me. So uh, once you come back, you come in, I have to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit yourself. You <laughs> can take my nose. <laughs> this hand, no, not too close to your, your, your head. Because every time, you know, you, you see the, some people do the first set. Yeah. You know, you see the internet, right? Some people do the first set like this. <laughs> and you get hit easily. Because, you know, in Meng Chun, a lot of, you know, like people sparring like this, I do this. You know, when I push here, this hand, you cannot get me. Now, the whole thing is, I don't know what to do. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do either. Depends on what I feel. <laughs> Over here, my hand coming in. So I don't want to waste my time. Over here, I do this. Now, okay, suppose you stop me. You, either way. Once you stop, I cannot go, right? You turn. At this point, my hand over here. If it's too close, I, I jam you. If it's too far away, I do this. Then, at this point, this hand you cannot do too much. <laughs> now, you br bring it back. You could do this. Now, once, now, once I tap, you bring it back. Now I recover myself, right? Right away. Now, you, ha you have to watch out at this point. At this point, I'm coming in, right? A lot of people forget about here. Over here, because at this point, they come. If you stop, my hand will be right away. I, st I cover myself. And what I watch this hand over here. From here, we call chin out. From here, I go. But when you feel my hand coming up, you grab it down. Grab both. Yeah. And this hand pull out and hit me. That is so <laughs> fun. Ha. When double punch coming in, punch, I have to turn again, my turn.
parle bien. You're learning the stepping, the hand, the footwork, and the whole body. And the reactions. And if you notice, did you watch Sifu the way he was watching me? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Tell me about the dead fish eye. The dead fish. <laughs> right? Yeah. Can you explain to them what the about what? the dead fish eye? The look? Forward. Like a dead fish. Look forward. Right? The dead fish eye. Looking forward. Oh. Never look at the hand. Or people have a taekwondo kick. If you look at more on the leg, you get hit. Because you're not fast enough. But all this thing is training. Wing Chun, you know, I mean, I would say martial art. Yeah. There are no limits. Hmm. That's why I don't call myself master. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a very important idea there to understand. Very important. Um, and then can we show them just a little cheese out, Sifu? How we do the cheese yeah. out without the feeding hand? So this is the most torture that I go through, right? It's a uh, literal torture. Okay, his energy and how he feeds it. So sticky. Make sure the shoulder is not moving that much. Suppose I'm get tired. This hand. Now, see like this. Good. Once I feel my, once you feel my hand is, is like this at time. Then you're coming in. Whenever you feel the elbow is not connected, coming in, coming in. That's why you know, long guy, long arm, you have a lot of advantage. But try not to be, even though the guy's shorter, you know, the guy's shorter, don't. When you do this, yeah, your hand is down. Sifu, can you explain to them the five elements? Yeah, you know, the five element is in Wing Chun, is Bang Tao. The head is up, not this way. The horse in this way. Elbows in. And then the back, try not to be like this. Make it align with the whole body. Teng Yu, we call Teng Yu, and elbows in. The head up. And my Zhang is elbow in. One more, one more, another one. Hips. So the hip comes forward. So this is like hot passing you all the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You Tuck got down. to be like this. You can, you, we cannot do this. And then when <coughs> in, in Wing Chun, we try not to be like this either. Uh, this is a little bit different than you guys. Yeah. In Wing Chun, we call Qin Fong Ma. Because we are so close to the person. Oh. You know, sparring so close. I cannot be like this. It would be easy for them to... Yep. That's a Wing Chun. That's the only difference. Mm. And then we are always center line. Center line all the time. You know, we don't punch this way. We punch this way. Of course, this way has more power. That's why when I come in, my elbows in, not this way. That would be hard for you guys because you're another star, JKD, you know, you, you guys are used to this. But at least I let you know what we turn about. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for everything, Super. <laughs> Any uh, final questions for Sifu about Wing Chun? Mm -hmm. Sifu, how about this? How about, can you tell them in Beyond Wing Chun and in all the martial arts, 
What is the number one most important thing as a student and then as a teacher? As a student, as a teacher is dedication and faithful. You have to be, you have to trust the person who you learn. And then you have to be honest to teach them what you know. Do not show them in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't care how good your, your martial art is. You know, if you show them in the wrong direction, you know, you ruin the guy's, you know, future. Mm -hmm. That is very bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, you teach the, you set yourself as your, you know, your guideline, the student to follow you. How to ha handle with your, f your friend, your customer, your everybody, you know, you know with, with, with respect. That's how I always talk to, you know, Haranda. We don't make trouble, but we are not afraid of trouble. So, you know, that's the whole thing. When you really give me trouble, I, I will have to handle it. But I don't just hide, <laughs> right? Yeah, just hide. Yes. Yeah. But, you know, I don't, I don't never start. I ne you know, I don't want to fight. You know, I don't care how, how good your Kung Fu or martial art is. You got iron palm, or iron shirt, whatever. You cannot stop a BB gun. <laughs> just a BB. You, you're afraid to come in, right? <laughs> you don't know where I'm going to shoot, you know? <laughs> so, you know, like, never brag about how tough you are, you know? And, and see, for one last thing, if you could share with them, is one thing that I've always admired about you is that you're always happy. What is the secret to happiness? The you know, secret of, of happiness is let go. Let go, let everything go. People yell at you, I just from, consider from here to here. As long as you, you know, physically hurting me, it's okay. <laughs> I said, I, I don't hear nothing. <laughs> so you let go, then you, you cause a lot of, uh, you know, a lot, you, you save a lot of trouble. Yes, That's true. why I talk to my wife, I let go. <laughs> 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 yeah, my friend, yeah, my friend told me, you know, Sibu, you know, you know how, how I, my wife and I married 50 years, we never fight, you know why? I always, always say, yes, my beer, so I never can fight. <laughs> you gotta listen. <laughs> Big round of applause for you. Thank you. Awesome, huh? This is like what it's like to be in the presence of somebody that has dedicated his life to his art, his students also. You know, um, I wouldn't be where I'm at today without this man, guaranteed. And his understanding and concepts that he's passed on to me have allowed me to really grow and flourish, not only as a martial artist, uh, but as a man. And, and those, those lessons um, are invaluable. So thank you, Sue. Thank you.